Poppy was at the Kimmet on trial debate. Did y'all know that? Did any of y'all know? I didn't know it because I didn't know Poppy at that time. The Kimmet on trial debate was 2015, February, the month of February. What the hell is Poppy doing at the Kimmet on trial debate? Hey, Pop Pop, you've been exposed, nigga. You've been exposed. What the hell was Pop Pop doing at the Kimmet on trial debate? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. You know, but he always said, I don't go to that nigga shit. I don't be on there. But not only was Poppy at the Kimmet on trial debate, but guess who he was with? He was with the Zulu nation. And I didn't even know it because I didn't know Poppy at that time. Israel Doxon was doing a show today and somebody brought it to our attention because I was inside the chat room looking and somebody and the brother, I wish I knew your name, family. I would definitely give you the props that is due. But the brother said, yo, if you go to this mark 217, you will see Poppy at the Kimmel on trial debate. And I said, get the fuck out of here. Poppy wasn't at no Kimmel on trial debate. And sure enough, when I went to the goddamn joint, I said, what the fuck? Not only was he at the Kimmet on trial debate, he representing Zulu Nation, Africa Bambada in the Zulu Nation. Sweatshirt on his back with the Zulus. So now, think about this shit. What happened? between 2015 and now is that is, is that's what i be telling y'all y'all better listen to israel doctrine y'all just too busy hating on that man that motherfucker really playing expect the gadget and we wouldn't have known none of this shit had poppy wouldn't have opened his big fat fucking mouth we wouldn't have been zoning in on you poppy but because you have the audacity to take down the tribe to take down the king of the conscious community. Saw so never. You got the audacity to come out. I don't know. Somebody must have paid your ass off to go at me, nigga. And now this shit is finally coming to light. You're not only in the background, you up in front by the stage. Wow. I guess it's because I saw Zulu and I said, well, you know what? The Zulu is here. We're going to give them brothers some respect because I knew Africa Bambada and the Zulu before all this shit hit the fan. So, Poppy, you was repping Africa Bambada since 2015, nigga. What the fuck happened two years ago? Did he cut that money check off? Like I said, did the money stop coming in? And you said, okay, I'm gonna expose you. What happened? So meanwhile, let me let me um get with exhibit. Hey, let me show something. Is that poppy right there, y'all? Take a look at this shit. Is that Poppy right there, standing right behind polite security? Look at him good, y'all. And the nigga got on the Zulu Nation t sweatshirt. He looked like a happy Zulu Nation member to me, y'all. Who the fuck is this nigga? Who the fuck is Poppy? Let me give a moment of silence because I just killed this motherfucker.
He's standing right behind Polite Man, and Reggie is standing right behind Poppy. Notice, Reggie don't even know who the motherfucker is because he didn't come out yet. He only came out when Ronald Savage. Think about this shit, y'all. When Ronald Savage came out. When Ronald Savage came out to expose Bam Bada, that's when Poppy came out to attack Ronald Savage and said, he remember what he said. When Ronald Savage came out, I wanted to bust his head to the white meat. Why? Because he didn't want to expose Bam Bada. So now the nigga said, we had to work twice as hard to clear Bam Bada name. But Bam Bada said, nah, motherfucker. If it wasn't for you coming out the first time, this shit wouldn't have never happened. Get the fuck away from us, Poppy. So Poppy got mad like a scorned bitch that he is and ran and said, I'm going to expose this nigga Bambada. That's what the fuck I'm going to do now. I'm going to expose this nigga Bambada because you cut me off the payroll. You see? And now you're running around saying Bambada molested thousands of young little boys. Nigga, you, why you ain't tell us that 15 years ago? I'm, I'm 2015, nigga. Huh? Now I'm talking to the followers of Poppy. Y'all niggas been had. You been tough. You been bamboozled. You been had. You been tough. And you been bamboozled. Let me show you the nigga again. Y'all see that? Now you see him looking over. Do you think he knew who I was at that time? Yeah. He see that crowd up in there. He said, damn, you know what? I got to tear this nigga Sarnetta down. I want to be Sarnetta. I want to take Sarnetta place. But nigga, you got to come out your fucking van and do that. You got to come outside of your van to do that. You got to get all the contacts, nigga. I, I'm going to tell you something. This debate here was one of the best debates ever. Check this out, family. Let's get it. Yo, that shit was fire. You hear Polite say, I tore that shit up. You don't hear that Kwame Yashala no more, and they all went crazy. Check it out. Fire.
See that family? That's their goal. Their goal is to destroy whatever I had going on for the people. That was their goal. That's his goal. And somebody put inside the chat room, Poppy had respect for you, sir. How can he? If y'all agree, if y'all think Poppy had respect for Sarnetta, press one because he wouldn't do what the fuck he did. If you think he buried, he disrespected Sarnetta, press two. If you agree that he disrespected me, press two. Because the nigga would have came to me if he respected me. The fuck is you, the hell is you talking about? Get the hell out of here with that shit. Talk about he respect me, but he could talk about my wife, talk about me, talk about my family. What part you don't get? I never disrespected that dude. You got it twisted. You mean Sarnetta had respect for him, which I don't anymore, until he make a full apology. I'm going to be on his fucking ass. Pause. That's all I care about is him clearing my name. And he said he would never do that. So what you talking about? He apologized to me. That's the only way you can apologize to me. The fuck wrong with y'all? Now that we expose this nigga, because it got it got to say something. What was you doing 2015? You was with the Zulu Nation at this time. You was a full blood member of the Zulu Nation. Look at you, repping the shirt, repping the sweater. Huh? So what happened between 2015 and, two, let's say, 2016? Because that's when the shit popped off. A year later, what made you go against them? I don't know. But God damn it. Hey, Santi, you all right? Why would they lock down your school today? What happened? Oh, they locked down your school today? Yeah. I was getting ready to run over there and end this, but you good. They was looking for somebody? Yeah, but I didn't even them. Oh, okay. It was cops all in your school? I was getting ready to run over there with my camera, man. Word up. Because <laughs> mama called me. So, family, I, that's all I want to know. That man didn't say one word to me that day. He didn't say, what's up, Sarnetta? He probably heard of me, but he didn't know me. He's all up in there. So, family, that's the question that I would like for y'all to ask him. Dude, you representing Africa Bambada in the Zulu Nation hard body. What happened between 2015 and 2016 that you went that you got crazy? That's all I'm saying, family. 
That's the question that y'all need to ask him. So, Poppy, I know you're listening. Don't give a fuck if you go and rant and scream and go crazy, cursing my name out. We already know. Everybody know you're going to kill me. It's already on YouTube. We all know that. You're killing me. We know it. You're the same type of nigga that will kill Malcolm. You're the same type of nigga that will kill Khalid and poison him. You're the same type of nigga that told on Nat Turner, your spirit, because you're telling on everybody, nigga. The spirit of a snitch, nigga. Telling on everybody. Fuck you think you could come and fuck with me. See, my shit is real. Your shit is all about games and playing shit and trying to pretend like you're a fucking leader in the community, in your fucking car. You even had the audacity in one of your videos to talk about me driving a Benz. You see, where all that shit come from, nigga, that's just hate talk when I hear you say shit like that. That's hate shit. I don't talk about what another motherfucker is driving or what he got or the clothes he got or he may got on shoes, but you did. But you a real nigga, huh? I feel you. Crazy ass motherfuckers and niggas, motherfuckers is like sheep following this nigga. You infiltrated the community. You, you tore it down and then say, I'm not a part of the conscious community, but every fucking video you got going up is a part of the conscious community. And the niggas that's donating to your ass is a part of the conscious community. I'm not going to lighten up, goddammit. I'm going to tighten the fuck up too. Because nothing you say can fucking hurt me. They done did it already. I, had, I went at it with the best of the best on YouTube. With Seti, with Pharaoh, with with uh, Israel Dobson, digital pit balls, nigga. I'm built for this. I'm made for this shit, nigga. But you not, cause you get up in here and you start crying, fucking tears, threatening every fucking body, forgetting that you the one that started this shit. You disrespected Melanin Sutek. That's why I know you're not a molest victim. Because that shit wouldn't be coming out your mouth. The shit you say wouldn't come out your mouth. I don't believe you no more. I don't believe you. So, the only way... I will accept your apology, nigga, is that you got to come before the people and apologize. And I know you're not going to do that because your pride is like a little child. Your pride. You got to uphold the image. You got to show the people that you're a tough nigga, that you're a gangster nigga, that you kill niggas. That's what you got to show the people. You gotta show the world that you a tough nigga. Tough niggas don't apologize when they wrong. We go to the grave with that shit. But real niggas apologize when they wrong. And that's why I'm one of the realest as they come. See, you tried to flip the script. You make people think that I'm the fake nigga and you the real nigga, which in fact, you the fake motherfucker and I'm the real motherfucker. Because if I'm wrong, God damn it, I come before the world. I go on the Apollo stage and make a public apology to the world. That's me. That's what I'm made of, Poppy. What are you made of? Lies? Deceit? Huh? So I would like to see you tonight. Go live, nigga. Curse up a storm. Bang, bang on Sarnetta. Just be honest with it. 
you lied on your last live stream talking about Sarnetta said that Tafik was out there. No, I didn't, nigga. That's not what I said. To bring clarity, let me tell you what I said, pop, pop. What I said was, okay, you said Red Pill said he was out there. Being that Red Pill said he was out there, okay, he was out there. But I still didn't see him. See, that's what I said, Poppy. But you didn't continue on with my whole statement. And it's on video where you can hear it. It's on tape where you can hear it. 